2011, paper 2, number 1, use logarithm correct to four decimal places to evaluate uh, root cube root of 83.46 multiplied by 0 0.0054 or divided by 1.56 squared. Uh, so for us to be able to do this, uh, it is good that we use a table to, to be able to do this. So we draw that, we write that number, and this is the logarithm of the number. Uh, so the first thing we do is to get the logarithm of 83.46, and uh, you find that this is one point. You get the using in your logarithm tables, you use the logarithm to, uh, to get the table to get uh, this. So you get the logarithm of 8.346, and that will give you 92. One five. I hope you know how to get the logarithm of a number. Then we take the number uh, 0 0.0054. Uh, because this is decimal place, uh, we move decimal place three, uh, three uh, decimal places to where we have five and four. So this we write it is bar three. Then you get the logarithm of five point four which you get it is 73 uh, 73 uh, that is uh, you get 73 uh, 24 uh, you put a line there and because it is multiplication you add this logarithm so this will give you 9 this will give you 3 uh, this is 5 uh, this is uh, 6 you carry 1 so this is 2 plus bar 3 that will give you bar 1 then uh, we have a number uh, that is uh, 1.56 uh, squared so to get that number let's write it here so we say it is 1.56 uh, squared uh, here aside we are going to get the logarithm of uh, 1.56 which is uh, 0 0.9 uh, not 9 but uh, 1931 uh, we multiply by 2 to help us get the square uh, so 2 represent the square so when you multiply that by 2 you get it is 0 point, uh, 0 point, uh, 3, 8, so you put a line there because it is a uh, division we subtract uh, when you subtract that this will give you 7 uh, this is 13 minus 6 will give you 7 uh, this is a, a 15 ok we have carried 14 minus 8 will give you 6 and uh, here we have 5 minus 3 that will give you uh, 2 point we have bar 1 minus 0 so it will remain bar 1 uh, so we have that uh, we need to get the cube root of uh, this number so we multiply by this by a that or you divide by a that uh, this is equals to because we cannot divide uh, bar 1 by 3 we modify such that we have uh, bar 3 uh, plus 2 point uh, uh, that is 2.2677 you divide this by 3 uh, when you divide that by 3 you should get uh, uh, bar 1 point uh, that is you divide by 3 that will be bar 1 when you divide 2.2677 you get uh, 75 Seven five seven five five nine. So when you get the anti logarithm of this, you get it is equals to uh, zero zero point uh, five seven uh, five seven. You that is uh, to two decimal places. Two uh, decimal. Races. So that is how you work out that question. I hope you know how to work with logarithm, which you learn to inform too. So that's how you do that.
Uh, this is question number two, and we are told uh, three grades A, B, C, and A, B, and C of rice were mixed in the ratio three is to four is to five. The cost per kg of each of the grade A, B, and C were Kenyan shilling one twenty, Kenyan shilling ninety shillings, and Kenyan shillings sixty shillings, respectively. Calculate A. The cost of 1 kg of the mixture and you get 2 marks. B. The selling price of 5 kg of the mixture uh, given that the mixture was sold at 8% profit. You get 2 marks. So let's start with this. So we have the ratio here. Uh, we have the ratio of A is to B is to C. Uh, we can say it is equals to 3 is to 4 is to 5. So that is the ratio. Uh, we also have been given the cost of uh, A is 120, uh, B it is 90, and C it is uh, 60 shillings. Uh, so we are required to find the cost of uh, 1 kg of the mixture. So because this is the ratio of the mixture, we can say, why don't we take, uh, we can take 3 kg of A, so it means A, uh, 3 kg will multiply by the cost of uh, A, which is 120. So those are 3 kgs. Plus, we take 4 kg of uh, B. So it is 4, the cost of B is 90. Uh, and we take 5 kg of C, which is uh, costing 60 shillings. Uh, so how many kgs are this? 3 plus 4, those are 7 plus 5 uh, that will give you 12 so these are 12 kg the cost of 12 kg all of them in that ratio so if we divide the, by 12 we will be able to get the cost of uh, 1 kg uh, so 3 times 120 that will give us uh, 360 4 times 90 that will give us uh, 360 uh, 5 times 60 that will give us uh, this is add 300 and we divide by 12 so if you add this can uh, this is 720 uh, 720 plus 300 that will give you 10 1020 you can also use your calculator you are not limited to that we divide by 12 that will give you 85 so it means 1 kg of the mixture uh, would cost uh, 85 shillings uh, so we have used the ratio uh, and the reason why we so that if you take uh, we have multiplied by the ratio so that uh, the mixture the ratio remains even in the mixture uh, that we end up with uh, so the second part of this question that is B we are told the selling price of 5 kg of the mixture given that the mixture was sold at uh, one or eight, uh, that is eighty percent profit. So we have seen the cost of one kg of the mixture was eighty five. So it means if it were to be sold at a profit of eight per eight percent, this would be eighty five. Uh, you multiply by uh, you divide by a hundred. That would be the cost, and you multiply by the new price, which is one o eight and then you multiply by 5 so this is equals to uh, you can say this is uh, the same as uh, 85 times 1.1 and that will give you 91.80 and you multiply by 5 uh, you can use your calculator you will be able to get 459 so that will be the cost of 5 kgs of the mixture when it is sold at a profit of one uh, eight percent so that's how you do that question i hope you have followed this is what you do it ratio in form three mi uh, mixtures in form three uh question number three make as the subject of the formula and you have been given the formula here w is equals to the cube root of s plus t over s uh, so we have s in the numerator and s in the denominator 
so the first thing that you do here is to cube both sides so you have uh, w cubed is equals when you cube the this this side here that is uh, you put that cubed and this cubed the cube root uh, sign will disappear uh, or the cube root and then we'll be left with s plus t uh, divided by s uh, let's multiply cross multiply so here we have one can say we have one cross we will multiply this one by s plus t and uh, w cubed multiply by s so you say w cubed multiply by s this when you multiply by one you'll be left with uh, s uh, plus t so we can take uh, s to this side so we have w cubed s minus s is equals to t uh, factor out s here s is common you'll be left with w cubed minus one is equals to t so divide both by side by w cubed uh, minus one divide by w cubed minus one so this one goes we will be left with s is equals to uh, t divided by w cubed minus one so that is how you make uh, s uh, the subject of this formula you covered this in uh, form three where the top in the topic formula uh, formula and variation